Alright guys, hey what's up? So in this part of the video um I've attached this to the ending part so I can demonstrate to you um all the stuff that I've just explained and its application and what it looks like. Now um one aspect of the stroke you won't be seeing and that is how I find the line. You'll be able to see how I'm finding the line but you won't see exactly um exactly how I'm setting up. But everything else you see, the bridge, the stance, the follow through, keeping the head down. Alright, so let's get into it. Just going to be taking you through what I'm doing right now. And here, I'm trying to find the line that leads me straight to the pocket. As you can see, I'm looking down to see where I'm placing my feet. I know I'll place my feet at 45 degrees. I'm trying to get comfortable here and stable. Now I feel stable. Now I have my head down right here. I'm actually playing a stop shot right here so it's pretty easy it's just to just let the cues through nice and smooth and i'm about to release and just setting it nice and easy there you can see the follow through you can see i keep my head down i keep my head still i'm chalking my cue i'm doing it right. now bear in mind guys that this is practice and this is what my practice sessions are like in most days the shots that you're seeing now are not the shots that I play every day because these shots are pretty easy and the last three shots are the kind of shots that I do as my warm-up drill so when I get there I'll let you know so right now I'm just going to be playing a follow shot unfortunately I would love to follow this ball into the pocket but it didn't happen for me but I got close but the whole idea is to show you the setup right now I'm trying to align the ball it doesn't look straight to me so I'm trying to set it up a little bit better Alright, so I've already set my stance. I feel comfortable. I feel stable. I'm aiming high on the cue ball. Maybe a little bit above center. Setting up, you can see I'm dead straight in. Focus. And you can see the follow through. Now, because I'm playing high, you can see that my tip didn't actually touch the felt. But um, the important part is that I extended my cue through the position of the cue ball. Alright, so that's very, very important here. Now, I made a mistake there. Oh, right, so I'm now supposed to play a draw shot. Now, once again, the objective of the draw shot is to draw the cue ball back into the pocket. Now, this is a fairly easy draw shot based on the amount of work that I've been putting in and based on how long I've been playing. This is not a very difficult draw shot, but it's the execution, guys, that I want you to get in your minds. Alright? Now, I have to like, elevate my cue a little bit to get down into the cue ball so I can get a lot of backward rotation. So I'm stable, I'm set up, lining up there, aiming low. And you can see I've extended. Now, I had, to, I had to get up a little bit faster than what I would like because I realized that my cue ball was coming back onto the cue. So I had to literally get up. But usually, whenever the shot is a bit farther I stay down for two to three seconds and watch myself execute a good shot so that was a little wobbly all right but you can see that this is what practice is supposed to be like now here I've extended the cue ball by about two diamonds and now I'm doing a stop shot but it's more distance so this time now I cannot aim center I have to aim a little bit low and time um, time it out time out the draw shot so I'm drawing, but I'm allowing the cue ball to slide up on impact with the object ball. There we go. Now it had a bit of um, follow, slight follow. You can see that there was a little bit of forward movement on the cue ball there. Just a little bit. So that means um, upon impact, the cue ball picked up a slight bit of forward motion. Just a little bit. But that was good enough because there was not much um, error made in terms of where I'd like the ball to be. But you practice to get better so that you can um, make sure that your fundamentals are intact. Now here I'm about to do a follow shot. I'm allowing you to see exactly um, what is happening here. Meaning that I do not want to cut out when I miss. Because if I do that, you're going to think I'm perfect, which I am not. So right here now, what I'm doing now is I'm showing you everything, the misses, the bad misses, everything. You can see that that was a really bad miss. I missed to the right side of the pocket. But 
I knew that um, you see when I set these balls up on the table um, it is straight but my cloth is a bit old and the balls are not very new so sometimes I get a bit of kick sometimes I get a bit of roll off but here I'm going to execute the shot I'm not going to follow it in the pocket but I'm going to come close but it's just going to go around two rails by accident right. good so now you can see now why that happened usually if it's a dead straight in shot and i do that it is supposed to follow the ball in the pocket however i might have shoot the ball a little bit to the right side of the pocket no to the left side i'm sorry so it may have gone over to the left side a little bit more but the ultimate aim guys remember that it's not about how perfect you're playing the shot it is how much work you have to put in and what execution you have to do in order to work on your game all right this is something that i do every morning and as we speak right now it is 6 30 in the morning as we speak and i'm practicing here so this is it execution i i don't remember what shot i was playing yet i was a follow i think this is a draw shot yes i'm gonna miss this about three times you can see the bad news. Now, what about that bad miss? Let's examine it. I got my head up too fast. I hit the ball a bit too hard. I was very jerky on my stroke. A lot of things went bad there, but I wanted you to see um, that miss. Now, I'm going to miss again. I think I'm going to miss about two more times. And I want you to replay. If you have to replay and see what is it that I'm doing wrong, leave it in the comment section below and tell me what is it that you think I'm doing wrong. All right, so that just was very unfortunate. I'm getting good action on the cue ball, but I'm missing the shot. And that could be a number of reasons. I could be holding the cue unfortunately too tight. I could be raising my head up on impact. I could be hitting the ball a bit too hard. There's a different things that I'm doing. I think I'm gonna miss it again. I think I'm gonna miss it real bad. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm just kind of just working with you guys here. All right. So my set so that time I hit it a bit too hard. It a bit too. You can see I'm a little bit disgusted with myself. But the aim here, see I'm flashing my hands because I need my hands to be loose. So I'm trying to remind myself, I think I'm about to execute a perfect draw shot. My cloth is a bit old, so it drifts it drifts to the right or to the left a little bit. But look at this perfect draw shot from distance everything was right look at the action on that cue wall perfect execution all right guys so this is what it is like in practice for me i just demonstrated six shots for you and taking you through um that there all right so i hope you enjoy the content there and um you have to do stuff like that i'll be showing you a lot more when it comes to um, what you need to do for practice, stroke drills that I do. Um, I'm going to be bringing on some live sessions when I'm training. I'm not perfect, guys. I work on my game every day. Even the simplest of things is what I work on. So, um, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for paying attention. Um, use these as guide. You can definitely find me at 27 West Ward Avenue. That is where I train in the mornings. If you're watching this video and you um, are interested in learning about pool and becoming better, then this is definitely um, the channel for you and you can definitely get in contact with me so I can teach you some stuff that I have learned. You can come and train with me if necessary. All right. So do take care, like, share and subscribe to the channel and um, definitely share it out um, and join this journey with me to becoming the top professional that I would like to be. All right, do take care. See you in the next lesson.